How to set up a new Barmy build. The first thing to do is to make sure that you have the add-ons GSE, Weak Auras and Reforge Light Classic installed. The best way to do this is by using the CurseForge app as it automates the process. Just make sure that you get the most recent add-on for the version of the game that you're playing. Some builds also require the Click add-on for one-click completion of tasks such as assigning a focus target or combat resin a party member. I'll explain how this add-on works later on in the video. To import a GSE sequence, first copy the script by clicking at the top right hand corner of the box. Then open the GSE options menu by typing slash GSE in chat and click on the import icon. You can now paste the script into that box by pressing Ctrl V and click import. The sequence will now be populated in the sequence list for your class. The first thing you should do is read the help information in the configuration tab. Here you will find any information that's important to know. If a sequence has different versions for leveling and endgame, it will be explained here, and you can change it here in the default versions tab. Just remember to click save once you change it. You'll now need to keybind your sequence to a key, and it's super important to remember that the key you choose must not be bound to another action in game. If it is, then the sequence won't work. Once you're happy that the key is available, then open up the key binding options in the menu. You will see that you have two methods of binding the sequence. We have action bar overrides and key bindings. I personally use the key binding method. Just click on new key bind, then click on not bound and click the key you want to use. Then select the sequence you want to bind it to and click save. The major downside to this method is that the spell icon won't be added to your action bars, it will just be blank. If the icon is something that you need in your life, then you'll have to use the action bar override method. Just click on the new action bar override, then select the action bar button you want to use. Then select the sequence you want to bind it to and click save. All new Barmy sequences will work without the use of weak auras, but to get the very best out of the build, then following the weak aura prompts is highly recommended. Now there are two ways you can get your hand on the weak aura packs. You can purchase them as a digital download through my online shop, link below, or you can become an officer of the Discord through a subscription and get access to all of my weak auras for free. This is by far the most cost effective way to get your hands on them. If this is something that you're interested in, then follow the link at the bottom of the channel. To import the Weak Aura, just copy all of the script as directed. Then open Weak Auras in game by typing slash WA in chat, click on import, paste in the script by clicking Ctrl V, and then click import. Now these Weak Auras are designed to be used with my UI, which is also available in the shop, and it's free for members to download. I also have a video on my channel, there's a link in the description, that tells you exactly how to create it if you want to build it yourself. Now if you use your own UI, then you can move around these icons and change the sizes to suit. Reforging gear can be way too time consuming and confusing, and to solve this issue I use Reforge Lite Classic. Once you have it installed, it'll open automatically when you visit the Reforge NPC. Just select your spec in the presets tab, and change the target level according to what content you're playing and then click calculate. After a short time you'll be able to click show and all of your reforges will have been calculated. Now click reforge and it'll do it for you. Easy peasy. The last add-on I want to talk about is click. This add-on will allow you to perform a pre-selected spell or task by just mousing over a target or unit frame and clicking a button. Now what I do is set up important functions to my three main mouse buttons. To set it up, just open your spellbook in game and click the click icon here. You'll see that the left and right mouse buttons are set as default to target unit and unit menu. Now I want to use these buttons for something else, so I'll rebind them to shift left and shift right click. Just highlight the action, click edit binding, change binding and then press the shift and desired mouse button when prompted and click save binding. Now that the mouse buttons are free to bind, we can add a new binding by clicking add binding, then find your desired function in the list to the right, click on it and click change binding. 
then press the desired button when prompted and click Save Binding. You can also do this for macros. So for example, if you want to add my set focus macro to a button, you can find it in the list and give it a binding. If you followed all the way through this guide, you'll now be ready to start playing your character. The playstyle is very simple. Spam the GSE sequence to automatically perform your rotation and then self-cast any spender abilities or defensives when alerted by the weak auras. If there are AoE spells to be cast, then in most cases these will be alt modified. This means that if you hold down the alt button while spamming the macro, multi-target spells will be cast. Now again, remember, the sequence will fail to cast if the binding is taken by another action. So if you have a sequence bound to one, and alt one is already bound, then the sequence will fail. The only other thing to mention when it comes to spamming the sequence is your click rate. The speed that you spam the sequence will affect the performance. So experiment with what works best for you, and ideally, you'll bind the sequence to mouse wheel down so that you can play for long periods without discomfort. Now, I use the Razer Tartarus hand controller for playing WoW, and I highly recommend you look into getting one. There's a video on my channel talking all about it, and there's a link in the description. I also recommend that you watch my video on how GSE works, also linked in the description, as it covers a lot of common questions, clears up a lot of common misconceptions, and it has a great visual presentation showing exactly how GSE works and what it does. Any important macros that I use will also be shared in the channel. These can be easily copied and pasted so that you can try them yourself. The only macro that is completely your responsibility is the own cooldowns macro. Every sequence that I create contains a block that will fire off this macro if it exists. Just create a macro called own cooldowns in the macro folder, slash m in chat, and add to it whatever you like. And if you build something that works really well, feel free to tell us about it in chat. The last thing I want to say is read all of the information in the channel. Outside of watching and understanding this video, everything else that you need to know will be detailed in the channel, such as the title of the macro, and this should be given if asking a sequence specific question in chat. All of the spells contained in the sequence will be listed in what it does. There will be a section on how to use it and what weak aura prompts are given. There will be a section for additional macros, recommended and necessary talents and glyphs and links to my membership page, shop, and any other media that is important.